Afternoon everyone, so today we're at a Ford Focus 2012 with 160 odd thousand miles on the clock. It's a diesel, so the complaint was, uh, before I got here it had a block DPF, DPF along with a mass airflow sensor code. Now I wasn't here, so I arrived because they were having trouble, they'd done the DPF and replaced the air mass sensor. So when I came down, we had this code. Mass, volume, airflow, A circuit range, performance. So I said to the guy who done the job, I says, where did you get your your new mass airflow sensor from? And it was not Ford. So I was with my son Kieran here, and we looked at the figures, the mass figures, and it was reading 140, 140, is it grams a second? And on the dash it said, engine malfunction, a stop engine or something like that. So I said to the guy who done the job, I says, where is the original air mass sensor? So we put that back on, and as we can see, we'll go back down here, hear it. Good lad. So we're going to our data. It went from 140 down to 70 idle, half. So no bother, no wonder it was complaining about airflow rate being too high. So what I'm going to do is take it and you know, clear the codes, take it a run. But the very fact that this engine malfunction light has disappeared, saying we're in the right ballpark here, because I think maybe the DPF, well, the DPF would affect, affect airflow. So, see, this is what happens when you go by part and parts. Because it's frequency, oh, they're terrible. So, we'll clear the code and we'll take it around. Right, we'll clear codes. Oh, engine has to be off. No codes present. So we'll take it a run. So we've just drove it for a couple of minutes and it comes up with engine malfunction. Service now okay, so we'll go to the code skiri. So we'll go back the way. We'll go memory codes. Must be on with the key engine off. Of course that would start. Right. So hit okay Kiri. So it's back again, it's back again. So it's air mass, volume, range, circuit performance, airflow too high. Mm. So even with the the original Ford one back in, you can see it's 146.83, so that seems to be jumping to a default setting there. So wondering if we have maybe a wiring issue here. But if I go back, let's see. We'll back and clear the code. We'll clear the codes. So it says it with it not even ticking over, it says it's got nineteen what was that up here? That's a better figure. So why is it going so high? You wanna hold that key then just we'll see when we boot it up the road what kind of figures we get. Just need to go first gear. So we went into the math sensor grams a second. Wow, have you ever seen a figure like this? 687 and the frequency 2000. Oh, there's something dodgy here, boys. Tempted just to put a new math sensor in it. I'm going to wiggle the wire first, we'll get down to base. Right, cheers. Right, everybody, so what we've done, we disconnected the mass sensor, even the original Ford one, and it's driving far better. Now, I always thought when you disconnected it, that math would show zero, but on fours it doesn't. It goes to a default, so it's showing 12, and when we're giving it the gun, we're going up to 111. Now, that seems about right. 
and the trip computer showing no, it's not showing engine malfunction so it's like that better so I think we need a genuine well a good air mass meter from Ford so let's go to store code nothing pending codes there we go mass volume so that's where it disconnected so it knows it's disconnected another code was talking about circuit high but the figures were through the roof with that so I think we're going to go to get a genuine 4-1 take it for there. Anyway, cheers.